Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel or well more like welcome back for me because I've been away for a for a while I can explain as you guys probably know I won the Dutch Nick's Face Watch which was of course without a doubt amazing but yeah it was a hectic summer because I had to pack last minute had to arrange a lot of things last minute you know get off work and well then the week in LA was absolutely wonderful i met so many so much amazing people and i've had the time of my life definitely one of the best weeks of my life without a doubt it was perfect it was perfection really and then i got back and i had like a week to recover from this major jet lag and just the fact that i've been in la met all those people met so much just 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 yeah yeah yeah, I don't know how, I don't know what else to say. And you know, after that week I had to start school again, which which is a little less good news because I had a gap year and now I do have school. I just have to figure it a little bit out with school and time scheduling, but I'm getting there. I really want to go to, you know, uploading a video a week. So the other day um, I was on Snapchat and just being available to me and Snapchatting myself and also saying from I did this smoky eye with just one brush. Would you like to see it? Is that an idea for a tutorial? Is that something you guys would like to see? And the response was pretty positive. So here I am. So first what we are going to do is we're gonna grab a uh, MAC Paint Pot. Mm. So good to be back. Is we're going to grab MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre as a primer, you know. On the lid. Oh, the out the lid. I am going to do talk through tutorials more often because I hate voiceovers. I am not good at it, I don't like it, it's not my thing. Okay, so now that we have primed our eyes, so this is, you know, a one brush smoky eye tutorial. And what you want to grab is a blending brush like this with like a very tapered towards a point. But just like a tapered blending brush. Uh, for in between, you can buy this color switch. Thingy, you can just it's like this with a sponge you just swirl your brush in there and you can go to the next color they say you can go from black to white close enough you get like very light gray but you know something I'm gonna use this NYX ultimate palette because this palette is life this is my kind of palette and we're just gonna grab the light shade this the shade you know and just Put that on our lid so you know I mean I think you all know this by now it makes blending easier so and the fact that you use one brush and I'm gonna assume that not all of you are gonna have a color switch or do not want to spend your money on a color switch we have to start with the lightest shades first so most of the time I would do the inner corner a bit later on but you know because we use one brush we kind of need to get creative so we're gonna pop this highlighting shimmer, very light shade thing, I'm so good at describing colors, shade in our inner corner, just place it on there. I know this would be more ideal with a smaller brush, but hey, you gotta get creative. If you're on the go and you just wanna bring one brush, this is the kind of brush you wanna bring and you can create some shit with it, you know, just do it. Move my camera a tiny bit closer because now you can actually see some shit, you know? And then because I think it's a bit dull to just use a white shimmer shade, I'm gonna go for this um, gold runway. This gold shade right here and do the exact same thing. If you don't have a color switch, I mean you wanna dust off some of that shimmer because we're gonna go over with mattes. Just use like a towel and just get a little bit of that excess shimmer powder off there, you know. Voila. So now we're gonna go for a transition shade and I'm gonna do this this one right there. You know, I think if this would have a name it would be called transition or something, you know. So just pull up your eyebrows, very slightly go into your crease. And blend it out towards your brow that's how we roll you know so now we just define a little bit of a crease that I do not have 
<laughs> like on the pointy thingy only, you know? And just swoop that under your eye and drag that up. I'm, I'm, I just really like warm smoky eyes so I'm just gonna go in with this one as well because it's just my weakness and just very slightly because I do want to keep it neutral but just because I love it so bad just a little bit just 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 a tiny bit because I do want a pop of color in here you know so now I'm gonna grab that shake right there and work that in the crease as well and place that under your eye as well then i'm gonna grab this this darker shade right there put that in the outer corner like so work it in the crease a little bit like a very light hand and drag that under your eye too Ooh, I have full out. Fuck my life. So the best thing to do is first do your eye makeup and then, you know, your whole foundation concealer routine. But, you know, I like to live dangerously, so I just fuck up makeup, right? And if you think, like, um, I fucked it up a little bit here, just grab the lighter shade that, that on the outer side. And you can blend it or correct it a little bit. Because normally my eyebrow would end up, like, here. I shave half of them off. I mean, I think you can see that. So sometimes my eye shape is a bit fucked up. Just add a little bit more darkness if you're not satisfied with how dark that shit is. And then what I like to do is I'm gonna cheat a bit. I'm gonna grab that lighter shade again and just gonna pop that in the inner corner with my finger. I mean, overall this is more of like a budget video. I mean, NYX isn't that expensive, two bucks. Uh, brush and your finger, well, it comes for free, so you know, that's, that's great. So I just popped on uh, lashes and eyeliner real quick. This is More To Love from NYX because I fuck with NYX, you know. When I look like this, I'm gonna go for the NYX lingerie lipstick in Honeymoon. I'm gonna line my lips first with the NYX Suede Matte Lip Liner in Club Hopper. Put a NYX lip brush, I'm just gonna shade it a bit. Ooh, I haven't used this one before. Oh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, this is nice. Yes, girl. Yeah, well, that, that that's pretty much it. I am trying to, you know, find my way again with the YouTube videos because I, I, I was struggling a bit. But um, I will be getting there, you know. Practice makes perfect. Um, it's just, we moved, I lost my studio and I have a kind of an improv studio right now slash makeup room slash just my work desk. So it's a bit of a mess. Well, that was it for this one brush smoky eye tutorial and uh, I added a lippy. So if there's something that you'd like to see or you want to discuss with me, please don't be afraid to contact me. You can contact me on Snapchat, you can contact me on Instagram direct message or in the comment section below. I will try to respond to every single message. It's not that a crazy amount that I get, so I'll be fine. Just please don't be afraid because sometimes I respond to messages and people freak out. Like, I think it's adorable, but I am just a girl with pink hair in a room full of light and a camera. So just, just don't be afraid to contact me, please. I would love to chat with you guys. I'm just a human being. Thank you so much. Just add me there if you would like. And it's both, well, it's all the same username. Yelka GBG. GBG? I don't even know how to pronounce my own username in English. Oh yeah, a little thing. You do pronounce my name. Yelka. I know that's not the English way to pronounce it, but it is the Dutch way. I run out of things to say, so you know, have a nice day and I'll see you guys next time.